Yeah. No. Hey, here's a here's a topic for you. So kind of go. Do we set any type of a uh, an agreement? Like I know you and I had spoke about it on how uh, things that are sold at auction are going to be. Now, does this definitely go to the high bidder, or does this guy have a chance over on Water Street to buy his next door neighbor's property, or how's that working out? Well, it went to an auction, and uh, somebody uh, there were some high bidders. Those bids have to be accepted accepted by city council. It requires a four fifths vote. But we've been through it. The, the high bid actually means like nothing. Four fifths vote or, or not, it just means nothing. Does no, it, mean- it does. It does mean something. It means that's likely to be the one accepted. No, no, not necessarily. It wasn't in Kevin Fierce thing. We didn't even go to high vote. Uh, we didn't go to high bid. So I mean, in something like this, this guy said he tried to. I, are we going to follow the example of the Kevin Fear thing, or are we going to just give it to the high? No, I mean, this came up, and uh, the council made a decision that didn't want to get into the briar patch of trying to decide who's right and who's wrong and just auction it. It would have been very easy to just sell it because it's an adjacent piece of land. It's it's fairly, you know, that happens from time to time. But uh, in this case, there was an auction. I suspect the council will go with that. It just doesn't. It doesn't make sense that sometimes we're going one way, sometimes we're going the other. Can't we? Well, no. I think as a result of a couple of instances, uh, the council is probably trying to be more consistent. Uh, although not all circumstances are the same. That's the problem with uh, cookie cutter rules or something. Not every circumstance is the same. Now that land. Let me ask you this: Are any of those lands that that guy built? Are they all buildable? Or are they all going to be able to be used for something? Um, I doubt it would be built on. I mean, it, where it is on Water Street, you know, costs to put up any kind of house these days costs about a buck seventy, buck eighty. Uh, I'm not sure if someone would spend that on that property. But you, you're going to make sure that you have to upkeep it. I'm just thinking of the the person that bought that land over on the corner of Butterfield and Sherman Street. They never ever cut that lawn. They shouldn't have even been sold it after the first year. It just been taken away. Right, that small strip of land there. You, you'd think the neighbors would just mow it. Well, if you, you know, I can tell you one thing, that the neighbor over on Water Street isn't going to be the guy mowing it when he tried to buy it, and this, this person came in from Connecticut and, and outbid him for, for no reason. I mean, you just can't figure what that guy's going to do with the land. Well, he may have just been speculating. Some people do that if they can pick up something cheap. But if you can't build, well, I don't know. I guess that'd be the time where you, I, I think we should have a, a, either a, a hard, Unflexible line that it goes to the highest bidder, and that's the way it is. No four fifths vote, nothing. Just it's going to the highest bidder, or like not not bid. It just doesn't make any sense. If you don't bid and get it, why have a bid? And if you're you're not going to sell it to the highest bidder, what what are we doing? I, I think it's well, nobody said no, nobody said the council wasn't selling it to the highest bidder, and, and indeed in most cases it is. I mean the, the the friendlies parcel was a bit confusing because of the way it cropped up, uh, but. In retrospect, I think the right thing was done. But you wouldn't follow suit on this one. You do it the complete opposite this time. Well, because I think we're trying to, uh, you know, unless there's extenuating circumstances, we're trying to be more consistent as per the wishes of the public. I guess, but the wishes are coming one too late then in Kevin Spears' case. I don't know. I guess. Well, what are you a friend? He didn't want that property. No, I don't know him at all. Oh. I never met him. I've seen him on TV. Actually, I saw him in the post office once. Once you go over and look at the property, you'll realize what the scoop is. So, well, I, I'm I'm just saying I think we should be consistent on what we do. So when there's a good property and there's some good bids on it, then we've already got it established. Hey, this is the way things have to be done. Not like, well, somebody's uncle really wanted it. Hopefully, the public doesn't find out. Not that that happened in the Kevin Fierce situation or in this one, but it has happened in the past and could happen in the future. And we want to try to keep things clean. Right. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Well, hey, right. I'll talk to you later. Have a All right. Thank you very much. Bye now. 755-1240 is the phone number if you'd like to give us a call to be on the hotline today. America's favorite noontime talk show. We've got some great messages coming up. Listen up, will you, please? He's-